Hi guys, Lucky here, and I know you were expecting to see the setup of our giveaway Telecaster's neck today, but unfortunately, the Southeast Louisiana weather has conspired to keep me from being able to deliver that content today. It is storming outside, and unfortunately, I need to work outside before I can work inside to actually do the setup because I was going to show you how to repurpose some materials to make a proper length fret leveling beam. But that didn't happen, so to figure it out and see some bonus content and get an additional chance to enter to win, stay tuned. Welcome back. Those of you that made it through the opening credits, what I'm going to do today is give you a little tour of some of my gear because I've had people ask me about it and if you look behind me there up on the wall you can see some of it. We are currently in my multi-purpose game room slash music room slash cardio workout station. So. Soon, the cardio machines are going to be vacating, and then I can put my foosball table over here where it belongs. But until then, it's a little crowded in here, but we make do. So, without further ado, -do, let's look at some of my gear. Alright, up here on this part of the wall, to the right, you will see my Fender American Standard Stratocaster in ivory. Uh, it's a cool guitar, but I, you know, I prefer my guitars with set necks for the most part. Which brings us to the guitar next to it, which is my Schecter C2 Lady Luck Platinum C uh, Diamond Series with antique uh, nickel hardware in matte black. Then of course, above and between, we have our giveaway Telecaster, which will be going to one of you guys, but you know, one of you guys will win it at the end of this week. So, moving across, up here we have my uh, Ibanez 7, which is a uh, Slipknot Signature Series guitar. Next to that, we have the Jackson Among the Living, which is an Anthrax Signature Series guitar, and that one is actually autographed by Scott E. Next to that, we have my Gibson Custom Shop Black Beauty. Obviously, in black, gold hardware, it's, you know, a riff on Jimmy Page's, but his had three pickups. This one only has two. That's a thing for another discussion. Next to that, that is my Paul Reed Smith 20th Anniversary Artist Edition single cut in trans with the 5A plain maple top and mahogany body. Next to that is my father's guitar. This is a 1958 Martin G40 Dreadnought that he used to serenade my mother. Then last and not least to me, but you know, it's a nice guitar, is my Gretsch Electromatic hollow body with Bigsby. Now, this one is a factory mistake. The officially listed color on it is orange sparkle, yet it looks an awful lot like Bass Boat Orange. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's Bass Boat Orange. I mean, it's Bass Boat Gold. Now, over here, we have the Marshall stack that we'll be restoring. Just ignore my Ganiac and my Virtualizer. We'll just, we're not getting into those. 
Although, maybe I'll uh, throw some different Tolex on those. Who knows? It could happen. Maybe some of that white snake skin. Let me know in the comments what you think. You guys have seen the five different Tolexes that I have. Let me know if you think that I should replace the ratty carpet that's on it with some new Tolex. Now, behind, underneath, we have the 412 cabinet. And if you see on the left side there, there's a big old gash in the Tolex that came from when it was in storage at the pawn shop that I bought it from. So, like I said in the video where I talked about redoing this amplifier, I paid very little for this setup because the humidity down here in Southeast Louisiana is such that if you store something even indoors for too long, it's going to corrode. If it's steel, it'll rust. If it's aluminum, it'll corrode. If it's, you know, if it can corrode, it will. So when you go to these pawn shops, a lot of times they store these things for so long because the person's either still making payments on it or what have you, and it ends up being in storage for six months, a year, sometimes even longer before they're able to sell it. Well, in that case, a lot of times, while it's in storage, the pots, the potentiometers that control the volume and the tone and all that fun stuff, will corrode on the inside. And then when you go to test it out, it's all crackly, scratchy, poppy, and you're not getting a clean tone. Well, this gives you the opportunity to negotiate a better price on it. Like with this system here, I paid, I think I gave $120 for the amp and the cabinet. And they let me put it in layaway. So there's a top tip for you right there. If you don't have the cash today, but you have the 10% that most pawn shops require for a down payment, in this case, $12. You can put it in layaway, pay on it over time, and it's no interest. So it's not like putting it on a credit card zero interest on a layaway so that's a great way if you need to buy a guitar an amp anything like that almost any pawn shop in the country is gonna have that kind of stuff so look for it now down here we have my Epiphone Futura Custom Prophecy Edition in trans black with a quilted maple top. I know it's such dark. The trans black on it is so dark, it's almost impossible to see the quilting in the maple unless you're right up on it in good light. Now, since nobody was able to properly identify this sticker right here, I'll go ahead and tell y'all what that was. That is the logo for a group called Socks that was in an anime called Shimonetta, or subtitled A World in Which the Concept of Dirty Jokes Doesn't Exist. I like anime, I like manga, stuff like that. It is a, um, it's an influence. So, over here, we have my voice station, which is just a, um, a Focusrite uh, USB input that allows me to output to a computer. Now, all of my stuff is kind of piled up over here, but <laughs> this is the computer right there. It's an old MacBook Pro 17 inch but it's got all my audio and my DAW software and all that on it, so I keep it around. Now underneath here, we have a very old crate amplifier. This one is actually made out of wood. Now it's just a 15 watt amp, but it still sounds pretty good. I, I take care of it. Again, that's a pawn shop fine. Next to that, we have my little orange, little 10 watt job. 
Love, love, love that amplifier. And then finally on the end, we have my ZT Lunchbox Junior. Nice thing about the Lunchbox is it, it, it can be powered by batteries. So it's a proper amplifier and it, it sounds good. But you can take it with you portably, kind of like a pig nose. A pig nose to me is more for blues, not so much for rock and the type of stuff that I like, but you know, to each their own. If you just want to play the blues, well, a giveaway Telecaster is probably a good guitar to play that on, and a pig nose would be a good amp to do it with. So this is going to do it for today's video. I just wanted to put something up so that you guys didn't think I forgot about you. I didn't. Believe it or not, I spend a tremendous amount of time thinking about my viewers. So, tomorrow, Tuesday the 16th, I will do everything I can to have the next setup video. But, again, there is stuff that I have to do outside before I get started on the actual setup in the house. Because I'm going to show you guys how to repurpose some materials to make a tool. Well, till next time, this is your Guitar Goomba Lucky saying, keep rocking.